know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Yes, I'm good, yes, I'm good. guys welcome back to taylor xo or welcome to taylor xo if you're a new subscriber so y'all as you guys been seeing today what's been going down on these youtube streets as you guys know if you haven't already so basically there's been some stuff going around about jazzy and her mother and you know the beef between her and her mother i will say has really been talked about for a while now since she's been with chris you guys know that there has been some underlying issues that's been going on between her mother and chris that you know i guess she doesn't really want to speak on neither does her mother but it was alleged a while ago that uh chris did scam her mother and take some personal information from her mother and used it and got some type of money out of it some type way i don't know the full story so i don't really want to speak on it but there was some things said in the past about uh what chris ended up doing to her mother so of course, Jazzy isn't going to speak on it because we know that she doesn't want to make her, you know, her man out to seem like he is some bum who scams and lies and takes from people. But, you know, if that is the truth, I would definitely understand why her mother does not want to be around Chris. And I think also, too, it has a lot to do with the fact that, uh, you know, her mother probably clearly sees what goes on, you know, even behind the scenes, not just on YouTube, but behind the scenes of what really goes on between these two and you know throughout the time that her and chris have been together her mother has come on youtube and thrown a couple shots at chris basically trying to insinuate that he does not help and that he's disrespectful and you know i think jazzy is the type to where you know she does not want to see the truth of you know what's in her face and what's truly going on with this man and i think that now that now that Jazzy does, uh, you know, have this child with him, I think that there is no way possible that she is going to let this man go because you guys know that she was really struggling when Philip left her and she was there left with the kids. So I definitely think this time around that Jazzy is going to do whatever it is she can to keep that man there because she does not want to, you know, lose out on a man for somebody else. And I think she's really trying to prove on these YouTube streets these days that, you know, he is committed to her, to staying with her, and he's there for her and not her money or, you know, I guess a place to stay. So, you know, I guess they she went over her mother's last night and she ended up going on Instagram Live. And she was, I caught the Instagram Live as soon as she went live. She went live for about five or ten minutes and then she had hopped off Instagram Live and uh, she was there playing with the kids, dancing around, listening to music with her mother. And people noticed that while she was there, she was on the phone for a good majority of the time that she was there. And people were thinking like, you know, was she on the phone with Chris? I mean, we know Jazzy, you know, she really doesn't have much friends or much family that she really associates with. So who was she on the phone with during this whole time that she was there visiting with her mother? And a lot of people said, you know, it's just kind of disrespectful since she never really sees her mother. You know, the fact that uh, she would be on the phone acting like she was, you know, just having this serious old conversation and uh just ignoring her mother so the kids were playing around and people also noticed that you know her mother really doesn't have too much to do with legends she doesn't really hold him much or interact with him as much as she does with the other four kids and i honestly think that that stems from the issues that her mother and chris have and honestly i really do not think that you know their relationship will be changing anytime soon they've been on bad terms for about their whole entire relationship so i don't really see that ever changing for them too but to move on today her mother had posted something on the community post that a lot of people were looking at sideways and thinking like you know is there something going on with her and jazzy because it was just really coincidental that she was with jazzy yet last night and then she decided to get up today and post this community post so this one actually wasn't a community post. It was a Facebook post. And she said, glad you deleted me. You disrespected me. You disrespectful ass. If a man doesn't disrespect, if a man doesn't respect your mom, he will never respect you. Now let that sink in. No Rudy Poop ass will ever be able to disrespect me. You better get your life. So, you know, honestly, I mean, there's no other person that she would be speaking on. A lot of people, you know, may say, well, she has family and friends, but there was nobody else that she was speaking on she was definitely speaking about jazzy so i don't know how this whole thing started like i said i don't know if 
if there was some back and forth words i don't know what was said but then she also was commenting on the status because i guess somebody commented on it and she said keep playing with me you won't have shit you won't have shit now keep playing and people were saying you know was she talking to jazzy was she talking to chris so uh who was she talking to when she replied back with that comment but uh it was definitely giving that she was speaking to Jazzy or Chris. So who knows? And honestly, this was just such a sudden thing that had unfolded because we know that her mother has never taken to YouTube before to really air her out or say anything that's been going on between her and Chris. But then our mother also went on to the community post uh, and said this. If a man doesn't respect your mother, he will never respect you. If you're mad, then change shit. So this was just a whole bunch of subliminals that were being thrown back and forth between uh, her and Jazzy. Because then after this community post that she had posted, then Jazzy went back on Facebook and decided to say a few words about her mother exposing, I guess, her business on her YouTube uh, community post and Facebook. And this is also what Jazzy had to say about that. So Jazzy went on to say being a social media influencer can be so hard and so over, she meant to say overwhelming, but she said overwhelmed, especially when your own family can't respect what you do is your job. And honestly, I never got the vibes that her mother has never respected what she's done. If anything, I think her mother has somewhat always supported her YouTube. She may not be in the videos as much and, uh, you know, I guess helping her edit. Uh, but for the most part, I feel like her mother has always kept quiet and hasn't really ever came on here to expose her daughter. So why Jazzy would sit there and say that uh, her family doesn't respect what she does as, as a job is just very strange. No, sis, that bum that you have over there doesn't respect what you do as a job because if he knew what you do as a job, then he would be watching maybe what he says to certain family members especially being your mother and it just seems like as soon as he popped up into the whole scene that it just has been nothing but drama for you on these youtube streets since and she tries to blame her family for why she's going through all her heartaches and struggles and you know going through all this pain and heartache but really sis it's that man that you have over there but you know instead of putting the blame on him and making him take responsibility for what he's over there doing you instead just blame everybody else and make it everybody else's problem and uh, try to make it seem as though, uh, you know, your family's the big bad wolf and Chris is this innocent poor man that's being picked on. So in the next video, because this is the next day, I did film the first half last night and then this part today, but we will get into what actually went down and it was exposed uh, for the reason of why, you know, Chris and her mother ended up having it out. So in the next video, we will get into that. But I just had to speak on, you know, the whole thing that initially started it and why, you know, it got blown up into everybody getting involved into this whole situation between her and her mother. But at the end of the day, I honestly think that Jazzy is going to truly ruin this, you know, channel that she has for herself because of this man. And honestly, sis, you should really, really be taking a second look into what you're doing because not only are you arguing with your mother and putting your mother in a position to where uh, you're making your mother seem as though that you are choosing Chris over her, sis, your mother's over there signing cars, signing leases, signing for phones, doing all these things for you, and Chris is nowhere to be found found so pick very wisely who you turn on and who you choose because in the end sis i really feel like it will be in the best interest to be picking your mom's side over chris's side because we know that he does not financially help you uh in any way possible to be making it seem like uh all you need is him over there and not your mother when sis you damn sure do need your mother so comment down below you guys what you guys think make sure you guys stay tuned to part two to this because we will be getting into uh how jazzy came on live uh, last night and decided to expose her mother and her mother decided to expose what truly went on uh between you know her and chris uh and why this all went about or came about so thank you guys so much i love you guys' thoughts and thoughts and opinions comment down below thank you guys so much and stay tuned for another one Gotta be something different